Good morning to all those tuning in. This is the Level Lemon, and today we're playing an occurrence at Owl Creek Bridge. A little bit of a mouthful of a title, but to my knowledge, it's a soldier trying to escape his death and survive. Yeah, that's all I know about it. Anyways, let's get right into it. We have to get by the opening credits first. Okay, looks like we cannot impale ourselves. Oh shit, we're being shot at! Holy fuck! Please don't. <laughs> um... That's not something I want. Um... But, uh, that being said... Um... Never run in a straight line. That makes you an easy target. But, um, don't do zigzag patterns. Because when you start... You lose momentum, and you make it actually easier for yourself to be a target. What you're actually supposed to do is like try and like um, duck and dive behind like covers to try and break line of sight. Holy fucking shit! They have a fucking cannon. What the hell? Hi. That's a uh, creepy ass deer, but hey, whatever. Hunting parties? Why? Wait, no, no, all seriousness, why is there hunting parties? Like, if someone, like, you try and hang, survives being hung and drowned, then, like,. Okay, and on top of that, how are these soldiers here not seeing us? Um... Yeah, but like, look, if you can't shoot a guy, you can't hit him with a cannonball, and you can't hang him to death, or like try to drown him. I'm not too sure what they were going for there, but um... At some point, you should just let a guy go free. What the fuck? Okay, something's going on. That's weird. Um, I don't think that's supposed to happen. But, um, yeah, it just sucks that, like, in war and stuff, they execute prisoners. When it's like... These people have families and loved ones they want to go back to, just like anyone else, but they execute them, and I, I just always fail to understand that reasoning, as it just really sucks. Mm, please go away, Mr. Deer. You're creepy as fuck. Oh, is it just gone? Oh, come on. You're creepy. Stop. Go away. Hey, we actually made it back to our family. I expected it. Holy fuck, that is dark. Um, I don't know how to, what to say to that. Um, I honestly believe they were going to be trying to drown him and that he was escaping from his life. 
But I guess it makes sense that that's not a, the case. Seeing as not only that they had over the top raiding party, um, but like no bullets hit and like even the cannonball missed. Huh. Actually, you know what? Um, I didn't like the pixelized graphics at first. Um, mostly because they were a little too simple for my tastes. But, um, I think it actually plays well in the simplicity of it. As you're supposed to be focusing more on this guy's journey to get to his family. Um, and then that's when the twist happens. Um, where it was all a dream. Which is actually very hard to pull off. But I think I actually like it in this case. Um, because they give you everything you need to know. To know everything after him jumping. And before you actually seeing him hang. Is fake. As... Like, he has a rope around his neck, for one. And second, a lot of weird fantasy shit starts occurring. Like, to be fair, he could get really lucky with bullets and a cannon. But with a really robust search party, you're likely to be found out. And on top of that, when we touched one of the short soldiers, they bursted into... Um, birds, but I'm assuming that if we didn't see that for some reason or another, um, the creepy deer coming back just to follow us would be another sign this might be a little fake. Um, but yeah, anyways, I did like it. I actually really like the twist. Um, and it was very simple to play. Um, but anyways, thank you for tuning into the frequency. This is the Rebel Lemon signing off. So, good night and sweet nightmares. <laughs>